In this video, I will talk about fragrances that are tailored for specific occasions, moods, and vibes overall. We use fragrances when we want to feel sexy or we and or we want that extra boost of confidence or if you want to feel romance in the air. So this video is really uh, one fragrance sp per specific mood, vibe or occasion. Hi everyone, I'm Julio from Scented Moments channel where I help you to discover the amazing world of perfumery. So in this video, I have eight fragrances, one for a specific mood or specific occasion uh, that you should definitely uh, wear or try it out if you have yet to. So starting off with the first category, which is a fragrance to wear if you want to feel sexy. And here I have this amazing musky vanilla perfume. And this is from the house of Atelier des Or, and it is Lune Feline. Man, I absolutely love this uh, this bottle, um, and I love this fragrance. Th this is really one of the best discoveries of the year for me. Although this is very popular uh, in the fragrance community, and it's considered to be one of the best vanilla fragrances, I already did a uh, my favorite vanilla perfume. So feel free to check that video out. Um, so Lune Feline, it's really a sensual natural smelling vanilla with musk it's so so good man it's really really good it's dry it's not like very it's not very sweet it's a bit dry like a slightly sweet but dry vanilla with musk absolutely love this one amazing performance and i also this is the eau de parfum and i also love the extrait the extrait adds an extra boost of vanilla and musk it's really a high higher concentration version of lune feline the eau de parfum it's amazing really amazing um really atelier de zor this year was really a pleasant surprise um i really tried their fragrances at essence this year and uh, yes i'm really head over heels with some of their fragrances and this one is definitely one of them one of the sexiest fragrances that I have, it's Lune Feline by Atelier des Or. The next category is if you want to receive compliments. And this is another fragrance that it's also one of my favorite, uh, favorite discoveries of this year from the house of Pantheon Roma, which is very underrated. This one is Anone, this one right here. This is an Extrait de Parfum, 100ml bottle size, a beautiful bottle in my opinion. Uh, so Anone is so delicious. This has mango, saffron and bergamot, um, followed by rose. It has oud, a bit of amber, and it's delicious, amazing. It's also very musky. Anone, it's, it's like, imagine Baccarat Rouge but different um so this has definitely that it has that cotton candy ish feel but definitely smoother fruitier with the mango the mango it's delicious right in the opening and it's definitely more complex than baccarat rouge so you just really have that cotton candy feel from baccarat rouge the edp but then you have more layers more complexity and i definitely by miles i prefer anone to baccarat rouge and dio de parfum the extrait though not that bad uh but anone i absolutely love this uh and really the performance is amazing this is an extrait de parfum and i already received a lot of compliments with while wearing this perfume check this one out it's anone by pantheon roma the next category is if you want to fill a room. If you want to fill a room, I mean, there is no better fragrance than Baruti Perverso. This 30 ml Extrait de Parfum, it's all you need. This, this fragrance is potent, but really potent. Couple sprays and that's enough. This is 
uh, roasted nuts with coffee with rum uh, with that smoky woodsy smoky uh, qualities this fragrance is very powerful but it's it has like a it has gourmand qualities but but it's definitely but it's not a fully gourmand fragrance this is like by the fireplace by Maison Margiela but much more powerful and more complex definitely more complex and the coffee here really adds an extra layer of uniqueness and complexity here absolutely love it and this is very smoky nutty you also have cacao in here with coffee i mean it's it's amazing this really has gourmand qualities but not being a gourmand frame so at least i don't consider as as such but this is a powerful perfume but very likable though very very likable i highly advise you to check this one out it's perverso by baruti the next category is if you want to smell like a snack and here just go with Zerjo from the Casa Morati line Italica. I love the bottle and I even love I of course love more the scent inside. This is a delicious milky vanillic almond fragrance done to perfection and the performance is amazing. It will last you the entire day, it projects well also and I just love this one. Oh, so well done um you also have some musks some woods like sandalwood in the base it has also like a caramelized feel in here oh, man i i just adore this one this milky almond vanilla with a bit of caramel uh with sandalwood in the base i mean to die for this is really very edible, very addicting, and you really smell like a snack if you were. Italica by Sergio from the Casa Morati line. The next category is if you want to smell like royalty. Now, if you want to smell like royalty, you have a lot of fragrances like Amouage, even Sergio, Profumo Broma. I mean, a lot of uh, perfumes from niche brands that really smell like royalty, but I will mention this one because I feel that this is still quite underrated although I already did a review a couple of years ago I absolutely love this and this really smells like royalty it's super complex it is from Ramon Marigal Faiza beautiful bottle uh, right here this is a 50 ml this is an eau de parfum god honestly it's all you need uh, you also uh, have 100 ml a bottle size of Faiza but I think you just need a 50 ml because this is very, very powerful. And again, very complex. So you have lots of saffron in here, mimosa, raspberry, oud, rose, vanilla, caramel, tonka beans. I mean, you name it. You have so many notes in here, but I would say that the most prominent notes are the saffron with mimosa, with raspberry, with oud, with vanilla. And th these are, I would say the most um, intense notes in here the end result it's really a very unique perfume it really smells like the the color of the bottle suggests it has this yellow color into it um, and it, it feels like you're being touched by the Sun uh, it really creates that image it's warm it's really powerful again go easy on the trigger here but you will smell like royalty amazing fragrance here quite unique in my opinion very complex lots of layers amazing blend i just love this one this is one of my favorite perfumes from uh, ramon Monegal. and i highly advise you to check this house uh if you have yet to it's faiza please check this one out the next category is if you want to smell mysterious. Now, if you want to smell mysterious, this is a perfect fragrance for that from the house of Stefano Berlucas, and this one is Mortal Skin. Beautiful, I absolutely love this bottle. And now you have like a huge Mortal Skin collection, although it, although it comes in the same type of bottle, but it comes in different colors. 
and the fragrances are also quite different from each other. But and I really suggest you to check this uh, line out. Uh, but Mortal Skin released in 2015. This one is a very dark, mysterious, sensual fragrance. This has a huge blackberry note in the opening, very juicy, very natural smelling blackberry with cardamom and saffron. Then you have a hint of iris, of poponax. Uh, so this is really a fruity, resinous, a bit floral perfume that it's to die for. Very unique. You will not smell like this uh, and you not find fragrances that will smell like this. Um, Mortal Skin, the only downside is the projection. It doesn't really project. It's more of a, I would not say skin scent, but it's more of a skin scent uh, than really a fragrance that projects and fills a room. Uh, so it's really for those uh, more close encounter situations. Uh, and I really, really advise you to check this one out if you want like a dark, mysterious fragrance that will not scream. It's Mortal Skin by Stefano Berlucas. The next category is to be in touch with nature. If you want to be in touch, to be in touch with nature, and here it's, it was quite easy. I mean, I just wanted like a green perfume. I wanted to talk about the green perfume, and this is probably the best green fragrance this one is from the house of chanel of course from the Liz exclusives bel respiro this is green to the max and this this fragrance is really like you are being touched with nature it transmits a sense of tranquility calmness um with a big dose of galbanum quite soapy and a bit leathery Love, love this one. Belt Respiro is, is to die for. Yes, it really gives a mood of tranquility to be in touch with nature. This, it's the best way to represent Belt Respiro. Absolutely love this one. There's no better fragrance if you want like a green perfume uh, that reflects nature. It's Belt Respiro by Chanel. And the next and last uh, category is if you want to stand out from the crowd. Now here, I wanted a more daring, a bit more animalic fragrance. And this one, and, and this one is still quite sexy in my opinion. It's from Papillon Artisan Perfumes and Newbies. I absolutely love this one. This is the reason why I love this brand. This was the love at first sniff. Uh, and this has a huge dose of suede. Um, so suede, jasmine, uh, you also have frankincense. It's in the end, it's a very smoky, leathery, dusty, indolic, and a bit animalic. I really thought that this had some castorium or even civet in here, but doesn't, at least it's not featured as an official note but I, I really get like an animalic quality, maybe because of the jasmine or the blend of the jasmine and the suede, because the suede here, it's very intense. It's like a dusty brown suede uh, accord with jasmine, with frankincense. It's amazing and it's powerful, but it's sexy and it will definitely stand out from the crowd. Check this one out if you have yet to Anubis by Papillon Artisan Perfumes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what fragrances uh, would you suggest for these different categories. I would love uh, to read your lists. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Ciao.